Okay, in this video we're going to solve the integral of x over 1 minus x by using some creative manipulation. Now the first thing to note is this bottom x here has a negative in front of it and I would like to put a negative in front of this top x as well. But I can't put a negative in front of that x without cancelling it out because this expression isn't the same as the original one. So to cancel it out, I'll put a negative in front of the integral because when we multiply this negative into the integral, we get back to where we started, we get uh, x over 1 minus x. Now the next thing is I have a 1 here and I would like to put a 1 here as well. But again, to maintain equivalency, if I add a 1 there, I'm going to have to have a way of cancelling it. So I'll subtract a 1 at the back here. So what we've done is we've turned the integral of x over 1 minus x into negative of the integral of 1 minus x minus 1 over 1 minus x. Now what would be the advantage of that? Well, now we can we can separate the integrand into 1 minus x over 1 minus x minus 1 over 1 minus x. Okay, so the first term here, that just reduces to 1. We leave the second term as 1 on 1 minus x. Copy the rest of the components. And now we have two simple integrals that are familiar to us. The negative stays out the front. The first part, 1 just integrates to x minus. The second part integrates to log of 1 minus x. divided by negative 1, so divided by the derivative of the denominator. If we close that expression off and we add a integration constant c on the end. Now if we expand the negative into the brackets we have minus x minus log of 1 minus x plus c. And there is our result. Now if you're concerned that you're not going to be able to remember these steps in an exam, well don't worry because there is a more, if you like, mechanical process and we can use a substitution. And this is also a good way to check if we got our answer right as well. So let's start again. So we have the integral of x over 1 minus x. Let's substitute the denominator with the u equals 1 minus x and that means if I rearrange u minus 1 equals negative x and that means that x equals 1 minus u and let's take the derivative of that so we have dx equals the 1 differentiates to 0 and the negative u derives to negative du so hence the integral of x over 1 minus x dx equals the integral when we make the substitutions 1 minus u over u and of course dx is substituted by negative du. We take this negative into the numerator and we get the integral of u minus 1 on u du. And if we simplify that, we have 1 minus the integral of 1 on u du. Okay, so 1 integrates to u, and the second part integrates to log of u. Remember there's a minus here, plus an integration constant c. And we can now back substitute what we had before, so u was equal to 1 minus x 
minus log of 1 minus x plus the integration constant c. So finally, is this equal to this? Well, technically it is because if I get rid of the parentheses, I don't need the parentheses. I have 1 minus x minus the log of 1 minus x plus a constant. The 1 out here is a constant. The plus c is a constant. So a constant plus a constant is just another constant. So let's write our final answer here. Let's write this as negative x minus the log of 1 minus x plus, let's say, d, the constant d, where d is equal to c plus 1. So we see that we arrive at the same answer for both methods. Okay, that'll do it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, uh, if you found it useful, please like and subscribe. Share it with your study mates. Check out my channel for m many more helpful videos for your studies. If you have any video suggestions, uh, please comment below. Best of luck and I'll see you on the next video.